Hey guys, Cloud Wolf here, and I'm back today with another video, and it has been nearly a week, and I am happy to see that they have a new update for Minecraft, which will break every single adventure map that you ever made before. But, other than that, there is some pretty cool stuff in this, so let's get started. So this is kind of a quick video, so I can A, tell you guys what's up, and uh, B, show you this cool little idea. Anyways, so, ooh, I need to be in game mode zero. So, um, the, with the new update, they added a new mob called the Evoker. They added a bunch of new mobs, but they also made all these mobs like so, which is the Evocation Fangs right here. And it's a little fangs that come out of the ground that, excuse me, a mage creates. So, one thing my comment on this is it looks kind of fake, not like Minecraft. Because look, it like... The way it shrinks just doesn't, it feels out of place. It just doesn't feel like Minecraft. But that aside, it is pretty cool. So I decided to make with an easy one, two, three, four, five, seven commands, a really easy um, kind of a play on some things that I've seen other people do. And this is a, uh, a kind of a trip mine, a bear trap, whatever you would call it. I've seen this before. A lot of different people have done it. And now I have to go get more of those. I'll be right back. But anyways, this is a really simple uh, command setup. And I'll go through how to do it at the end. Um, but as you can see here, we have a little pressure plate. And when you step on it, you get chomped up by the chompers, which I think is pretty cool. And you can make a couple of these. Oh, man, that was brutal. And they will activate each other if they're within a one block vicinity. So let me give myself uh, like that. There we go. So there we go. And there we go. If they're next to each other, they will both activate. And you'll take damage accordingly. Let's see. Ah, okay, that's really cool, actually. Oh, let's put it on peaceful. Okay, and set the time today. <laughs> uh, this is a brand new world, and um, I'm going to be doing some kind of cool things. Uh, what is this? Oh, there we go. So confused. Anyway, but I'm going to be doing some cool things with this new update, and you, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Uh, but anyway, so I'm just going to get right into this. Oh, and if you were wondering, I have been missing out a couple days recently if you're watching this within close to the time that it was created. Um, but I miss, I haven't been here for the past week because I've been working on school, had a test this week, and I have SATs this Saturday. So um, no more stuff until s probably Sunday or Saturday afternoon. And then I'll be back kind of into the regular uh way of things where I'll make a couple videos at least a week um, but it was just a exceptional week anyways so it's really simple how this works it executes at an entity named trap which is why this ice the item needs to be named trap and what it does is it summons a invisible armor stand which you can see right here like so and then what it does is it sets the block to a pressure plate so it gets that nice pressure plate then it teleports the trap down negative 200 which basically just kills the entity as soon as it hits that negative 200 and that way it doesn't activate the trap if you just kill it there it'll already activate the trap so um then what it's doing is these the rest of them are for the actual trap this whole thing so then the last four commands what they do is the first one is executing at e tag equals trap so the armor stand that's summoned has a tag of trap just to keep that in mind and it's executing at anything in a radius of one and detecting pressure plate of one so pressure plate of one is a pressure plate that's been stepped on so this yes also works with like villagers and stuff you know what i'm saying check this out Eh, yeah chopping the villagers so you can chomp up some villagers of your own if uh if you really want to set a villager trap or something um i don't know if this actually damages zombies too i don't know if it it's like a harming effect i'm not sure I'm sure it damages mobs that are undead as well. But anyway, so it works for any mob in the world and only mobs that can activate pressure plates like that. Um, okay, so what it does is it executes, back to this, it, it executes at, at the trap, the armor stand, and then it executes at something in a radius of one that is standing on a pressure plate that's activated, and it summons the evocation fangs, just a simple evocation fangs, and I looked at the data tags, I'm pretty sure you can't do anything with the evocation fangs when it comes to like making them stay forever or permanent, they may add that, but as of right now, you can't just make them sit out, there's no um, data tag for that, they do their whole little animation. Anyway, so next one is executing at the trap again, executing at anything in a radius of one that is standing on a pressure plate activated, and then it's executing back at the trap, and then it's setting the block to air, so that's why it gets rid of how it gets rid of the pressure plate, and then this last one is doing 
executing at the trap, executing at something in a radius, detecting if it's on a pressure plate that's activated, and it's killing the trap, so that's getting rid of the armor stand so it doesn't get left over. And this last one kills the armor stand if it's in the air, so I don't accidentally do like this. Whoa. Whoa, I didn't know you could put... I guess you can place pressure plates in midair. But, anyways, so... You can, but once the pressure plate disappears, like so, um, the armor stand isn't left sitting there. So there you go. Um, that's all there is. There's only seven commands, and um, I'll if you guys want me to have the commands put some for you, just put some in the comments because I don't think anybody really wants to have the commands. But if you want them, just put something in the comments. I'll just copy and paste them into the description of the video. I'm not sure if you really care much. I went over them pretty in depth here, and it's just a quick little concept. Um, but anyways, I'm going to be coming up with more cool stuff involving the stray and whatnot in the near future. I just wanted to get a quick video out there for you guys. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, I will have another Donald Trump map as promised to some people. I just haven't been able to make the trailer for it because I don't have actual in-game footage that I need. So I'm going to be recording that this weekend, so if you guys want to join the live stream or something, uh, I'll try to record it. I won't. I'll, I may live stream for a little bit um, just to get you guys knowing that I'm on there, but I can't really live stream and record at the same time. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.